I found this bass line that I found in Flix that sounds super dope. I'm gonna play it for you and I think I'm gonna start today's track with this bass line and we're gonna build a track from there. So this bass sounds like this. This is giving all the vibes bro, I really love this bass. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this bass and we're gonna build the track from there. Okay, so now to put in some tempo and I'm gonna use the tempo tapper again. Okay, I think it's uh, 119 is kind of okay, but I'm gonna drop it down to like a good 117. I think 117 is okay, so that's the one I'm gonna use. It's like when you're playing around and fooling around, you play something nice and then when you start recording, it just goes to sh Here are the notes. Now we're gonna add a kick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to this bass is I'm gonna send it to a mixer track and I'm gonna load up my effector preset so it ducks to the kick. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now to add some hats. Now we can move on to like some effects. Okay, so I'm gonna go into packs and then I'm gonna go into like risers. And I'm gonna use this one here and then I'm gonna chop this one off like. So you don't have to use the whole riser. And maybe layer it with this one. So I'm gonna mute the kick and then I'm gonna start working on my melodies so that the, you know, the kick is out of the, the picture just for now, but I'm still gonna bring it back. And what I wanna add now is let's say if I add like a Sakura, that's, a, that's something that I also like to use. Let's go into Eastern Dreams. So I'm gonna make sure the pattern is empty, press R. Okay, now we've got some melody. And I'm missing that note right there in the beginning. Okay, so I just turned down the cut off a little bit so that it's not too bright. Like how bright it is in my studio right now. <laughs> that was a corny line, but yeah, it works. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go into Morphine. Okay, I like this sound with a lot of decay on the reverb to make it super distant. So I'm gonna load that in, make sure I'm on, I'm on an empty pattern. Okay, that sounds nice, but I'm also feeling like it needs maybe some delay. I would want to have a little bit of more control on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the delay three on the mixer. That's kind of like, almost like it's a dub delay. I like that. Ooh, that sounds dope. Let's go into Flex into my favorite folder. Yo! Yo! That sounds fire. I need to record that immediately before it leaves my hands.
Okay, I like the second time I did it. The first time was trash, super trash. So I'm gonna take take it off and just delete it like that. And I like how I did it the second time. I make sure I quantize it. Yo. And I'm gonna clone that. Okay, I think I found a nice sound that can layer with this bass line. So I can use this as in kind of like a layer for this bass. So let me see how that sounds, how they, how they sound together. Okay, they sound nice. Now let me go into Poise Zone. Okay, so I like this moving sound. I'm gonna use this moving sound. The patch is called Gate Flyby, so I'm gonna use that. It just goes like. So it, it, it's changing by itself. I like how it's evolving as I'm pressing. I'm not even doing much to it, but it's evolving. So I'm gonna record that. Okay, nice and simple. Easy does it, bro. Easy does it. Okay, I actually think that these notes are super long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change my grid to like, let's say a quarter step and I'm gonna make them super short. Okay, I like that syncopated sound that I added there. Let's see if I can actually play it. <laughs> okay, let's see how that translates. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those notes out and then I'm gonna bring it back. Let's see how it loops down here. And I think what I can do is I can play with the cut off like that and say create automation clip and then boom. take all of these up like that and duplicate like that and I want this sound to come in on the second after 16 bars like that and I'm gonna add a noise splash right here of which you know what I've been using the same noise splash for a minute so let me go in here and let's see if I can find something totally different Okay, I think I like that sound, so I'm just gonna hold that note, that A right there, and I'm gonna send it to a mixer, and I'm going to make it be wavy. You know the vibes. Drop a like down below if you know the vibes, <laughs> the duck preset. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like we need to add some energy to this track. So I'm gonna put in some hats that are gonna be super energetic. Okay, now I think we have our idea laid out. Now let me play the track back as it is so that you can hear how it sounds in full.
that's the track I came up with today, starting off with a bass line. Let me know if you found this video informational, educational, helpful. Remember, you can always use the super thanks down below to support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And also check out the links that are down below for sound packs and all the information you need about this channel. And also subscribe and drop a like if you're new here. It really helps these videos in the algorithm. And also remember to share any of my videos with your friends. And if you want to watch another video, make sure to check out this next video over here. I want to see you in that next video if you didn't watch it. But anyways, thank you so much for chilling with me today in the studio. I am X and I'm out. See you soon. Peace.